Hi friends, this is Gani. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to create base plate first star column, just like this. Okay. This is the star column. This is the base plate first star column, just like this. Okay. In our previous video, I have explained how to create star column in Tecla structures. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to create base plate first star column. Okay. Let's start. Okay. I already copied this column at here. Now I'm now I'm going to create the base plate for this star column. So go to application components by using the shortcut Control F. Okay, click on here and type here 1042. Current I'm using a US environment. So according to the US environment, uh, the feet inches units will be come here. The processor remains same. Just follow the processor and enter here 1042. This component is common for every environment. Just type here 1042 and you will get here base plate 1042. Click on this base plate and you need to select the complete I section profile column. Click on this column and pick at grid intersection point for place the base plate just like this and close this window. Right click on once interrupt. By default, you will get this type of base plate. So now we're going to edit this base plate according to our sample information. So double click on this base plate. Now go to parts tab. Under parts tab, here you can see plate thickness is the three by four inches. Uh, three by four inch means the thickness of this base plate should be three by four inch. So go to anchor rod. Uh, by default, we have the rod size is the three by four inch and nut and wash also three by four inch. And currently we have the grout here. If you don't require any grout, so make it here zero, then click on modify. You can adjust the length of this anchor rod and uh, width and curve radius and everything from this information. You can see from top of to bottom of the anchor rod is the one feet four inches. If you want to change this information according to the design information, you can change this information. Just study the information and change it as per your requirement. Okay. Now go to bolt tab and here also bolt under bolt size you need to select three by four inch and tolerance is the five by sixty and come here in the lengthwise base plate. We are going to take for example we are going to take here two inches and number of bolts are four and the spacing is six inches and give the space and let's take 13 inches and give the space and six inches and click on modify you can see in the lengthwise we have the information like this uh, from here to here is the two inch and from this bolt to this bolt distance is the six inches from this bolt to this bolt distance is the 13 inches and from here to here six inches and from bolt to edge it should be two inches now we're going to edit in the widthwise here so enter here let's take two inches two inches here and number of bolts four and the spacing is four and give the space and six and space four then click on modify you can see you'll get like this Okay, if you want to change the spacing, you can change it as per the your requirement design information. You can change this information. Okay, that's it about the spacing adjustment and both sizes and everything from this component. After that, then click on modify, apply, okay. Just check here like this. Okay, here you need to consider that this uh, just use the shortcut shift to four, shift to two. On your keyboard, right click on motion interrupt, click on space, right click on motion interrupt. You can see this column is exactly top of the base plate, but here in this condition, you can see the, for the star column component, this is in bottom of the base plate. You can check here. This is the bottom of base plate. Similar like that here also, bottom of the base plate. To to change this top of base plate and to cut and weld this base plate with this flange column, we'll go to application components with the shortcut Control F and here enter here in the search bar 85 number 85. This is the weld number component 85. So select this component and we need to activate this option select object in component and select this base plate and then select this this member. You can see now these two are welded together. You can use a shortcut shift to two to, to identify here. You can see now this column should be top of the base plate like this. Similar like that, uh, sc scroll it this side and select this plate and select this member. Then press 
you can see now we have like this yeah that's it about it close it here right click on motion interrupt click on space right click on motion retrieve you can see now we have like this use the shift 4 for solid like this you can see you will get like this okay that's it about how to create a uh, star curve base plate in tecla structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tecla structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech law structure related videos i hope these videos may be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when upload a new video so please click on subscribe